everyone to the 2022 version of the Westboro Lions Club Rubber Duck Derby. This year, we have myself, Tony Ash, and my wife, Sue Ash, will be your host. Running the ducks over here, past president Andrew Cavallari and, and current president Burton Christensen. Uh, thank you all for coming. What we're going to do now is uh, start with a little introduction and then we'll, the race will begin. So here we go with Sue Ash and some little commentators. Thank you, Tony. So we're live from the Mill Pond Spillway and it's our second annual Westboro Lions Rubber Duck Derby. I'm Lion Susan Ash, your co-host for today's event with my husband, Lion Tony Ash. The Westboro Lions are thrilled to be hosting this Rubber Duck Derby to once again raise funds for a $1,000 scholarship. Students living in Westboro, attending Westboro High School, Assabet Valley Tech, and private high schools are eligible to win this scholarship. Students excelling in community service and who have overcome an obstacle to achieve their academic success are uh, able to apply. You can find the application on our website, westboroalliancequub.org. Applications are due by April 15th, which is a, this coming Friday, so if you know one who should apply, tell them to hurry up. Thanks to your generous support, we have 311 ducks in today's race, all vying for the winner's title. New this year are the addition of some specialty ducks competing in the Derby. And Tony has some pictures of them so you can recognize them as they race down the spillway. Hold on, okay, go on here. Yeah, hold the camera here. Thank you, good. But, uh... Okay, we have firefighter duck. We have Disco Diva Duck, we have Quackadile Rock Duck, Guitar Playing Duck, Pink Easter Bunny Duck. We have uh, Lifeguard Duck, Police Officer Duck, Golfer Duck, Airline Pilot Duck, and Teacher Duck, who will also competing, be competing in the race today. And you should be able to spot them on the race course, so keep an eye out for them. All of the ducks have been individually selected and trained this year by head coach Duck Bill Belichick, who Tony also has a picture of. So we can acknowledge his, um, his efforts this year in coaching our ducks. Uh, coach Belichick has had the ducks working out in the gym and the pool during the heart of the winter, so they are now in excellent shape to compete. The ducks are chomping at the bit and are ready to race down the spillway at the sound of the bells. And before that, we'd like to start with a little bit of a commercial. Um, some of you may not know much about the Lions Club, but it, uh, Westboro Lions Club is 10 members strong, uh, but part of a much larger organization, Lions Club International, uh, the largest service organization in the world with 1.4 million members, uh, in 200 different countries. Um, so uh, I need this. Hold on. Thank you. Um, yeah, but in Worcester County, there were 1,250 lions, which is uh, part of what they call District 33A. Uh, lions are mostly known for the eyeglass recycling, but also uh, just serving the community um, with um, eye research and diabetes research as well. Um, also in Westboro, you might be aware of our famous speech contest that we run every year and the Peace Poster Contest for middle school students. Uh, but the Lions do so much more, I'm just, I'm just exhausted talking about it. So why don't we get into the race and have Sue explain to you exactly how it's going to be run, and then we'll get started. Well, the format is pretty simple, Tony. The 311 ducks will be gingerly lowered into the spillway from that location over there by Angelo and Burton. Um, they've been randomized into several crates. They will again be randomized when they are plopped into the water. They will then flap and paddle their way down the spillway to the finish line, which goes all the way down there, around the corner, and you can see the sign down there that says finish line. Uh, the first duck to cross the finish line wins their adopter $500. The second place duck wins $250, and the third place duck earns $100. Due to Coach Belichick's expert conditioning of the ducks, the lead duck should cross the finish line in about five minutes. Others will take longer, and some tragically may get stuck behind a rock or tall grass and may need to be eaten, I mean rescued, by the lions at the end of the event. Hmm, Tony, uh, the root uh, conditions seem pretty wet today. They were certainly wet earlier. It was great weather for ducks, not so much for lions. We got a little bit wet in the setup process. 
but um, Coach Duck Bill Belichick, who's been working with the Ducks for the past few months, has been pretty close billed about who might take the tape. It's really any Ducks race, and we wish you all the best of luck. So, without further ado, Fly and Tony Ash will play call to post for us to get the race started. Just after that, the sound of the bells will alert the Ducks to start swimming. Tony and I will track the Ducks down the spillway for you, and I will announce the winner as soon as our finish line captain and chief duck catching engineer, Lion Guido Leonardo, has determined the results. Good luck to everyone. Number 1790. Hold on a second. That's the first place. <laughs> 1790. Who owns 1790? It's Karen Henderson from Westboro TV. Congratulations, Karen. She couldn't be here today, but she was here in spirit for sure, and it's all on tape for her to see. Fantastic. And number two. What is that? 1739. 1739. Alright, hold on. Interesting, they're all in the 1700s. 1739. 
Nice house. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Carol Smith from Naples, Florida. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. Carol Smith from Naples, Florida is the, the number two duck. Yes, yeah, she is. And, and number, number three, three is golf. Number three is a specialty duck. Golfer Golf duck. That's yeah, that's Shelby Golfer. Marshall, uh, Westboro Select oh. person. So that's Yay, fantastic. Shelby. So exciting. That's fantastic. That's great. You won! Yeah, Shelby! Oh. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Wonderful event. We hope to uh, host it again next year. Um, we want to thank the Spillway Beaver for not finishing his dam before our derby was able to complete. And um, we uh, think we're going to rehire Coach, Coach Belichick to co uh, condition the ducks again next year, even though they were a little slow at the end. Um, his, uh, his contract is up for renewal, but I think we'll go with him again. And uh, we appreciate it. Thank you all. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>